Testing for Gases Oxygen by kscience.com Oxygen gas is identified using a glowing splint. So first you'll have a test tube full of oxygen gas and then you'll need a glowing splint which is where the flame has just gone out so the splint is still glowing orangey red and is very hot still. You then place the glowing splint inside the test tube where it relights as it sets on fire again. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We can use the fire triangle to understand how this took place. The fire triangle tells us for something to set on fire, we need a fuel, we need heat, and we need oxygen. In this case, we had the glowing splint, which provided the heat and the fuel, and then the pure oxygen allowed the glowing splint to set on fire again. Combustion was the chemical reaction that occurred here. Fuel reacted with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. And the reaction occurred because the glowing splint provided the initial heat. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.